As a young person grooming yourself for the future, you will need to be hardworking, diligent, and charming. While this thing sounds straightforward, they are not easy to pull off in a place where you have not established a reputation for yourself yet. You need help to succeed. In today's video, I'm going to show you 15 psychological tricks that you can use to persuade anyone to do things for you. If you're new here, subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos such as this one. 1. Buddy Language Cues If you want someone to do something for you, don't just talk. Let your buddy also send signals. Here's an example. If you want an early leave and there is no big pending project at the office, if you come to meet your supervisor concerning this, you can tell them why you need the early leave. Your reason could vary from health reasons to taking a break from work and trying to figure out some mental challenges. It could be anything. But then add that you're willing to add extra time when you return in order to make up for any work that comes while you're away. Which technically means that you may still put in the time you're spending on your leave when you get back. Everybody wins. When you ask him, ensure your arms are not folded. Make eye contact and smile from time to time. I'm sure you will get it. Have you ever used body language to communicate appropriately while running for student council in college? Did you shake hands with people and make eye contact while canvassing for votes? 2. Engage people face to face. When you're trying to convince people to do something, it is always best if you tell them face to face. Sending an email is not quite as effective. According to Lifehack blog, in politics, there are lots of studies that show that face to face connect is the most effective method of all in persuading people to vote for a candidate or cause. Remember to smile. Not smiling may make you appear unattractive to the person. 3. Use the power of touch. As a salesperson in a store, getting people to touch the product is the winning ticket to getting them to buy. A lot of studies have shown that people who touch items in a store have the highest probability of buying the items. A touch is a potent tool of persuasion. If a person is refusing an offer and you hold their hand gently and explain to them, it can swing their decision in your favor. Studies have also shown that touch can put people in a better mood. You can use this trick to your advantage. 4. Active listening Listening carefully can also help you in your quest for persuasion. If in an interview question, you pay close attention to all the questions and answer them appropriately, you're already almost in the door. Even before you enter the interview area, listen for bits of useful information. It may be about the interviewer's favorite football team or the color of their car. Anything at all that may be helpful. During an interview, mention something that suggests that you are aware of this information and you and the HR will become buddies immediately. 5. Speak moderately. Some of you are speech mavericks. You talk as though your life depended on it and speak so fast they would have to record you and play back slowly to get what you are saying. According to the University of Michigan, US, researchers found that the rate of speech when persuading was an important and often overlooked factor. Speech rates, peach and fluency, were all measured in telephone interviews where they were trying to persuade people to take part in the survey. The optimal speed of speech was about 3.5 words per second, which were moderately fast. Speak a bit slowly and clearly. You sound more persuasive that way. 6. Be flexible with your tactics. Don't become rigid because one strategy has worked before. It doesn't work like that. Learn to be more flexible to use several approaches as the situation demands to get what you want. You can try talking if it's not working. Try body language. If body language is not working, try listening. Either way, keep trying. Children are typically good at this when they want to get something from their parents. They sulk, cry, scream, and sometimes just go quiet. They always win. 7. Social proof When having a conversation with someone, you can support an argument by citing social proof. You can, for example, say that everyone agrees with you or that it is a common knowledge. When you say it like that, it doesn't leave room for much argument again. It works because people want to feel like they are in the majority naturally. They want to be part of the in-group. So, if you can convince someone that most other people believe something, they are much more likely to agree with you. Makes sense, right? Have you used this on anyone yet? You probably have. 8. Using a deep voice For some psychological reason, deep voices are persuasive. There is something about those voices that make you want to agree with them. When someone has a deep voice, he is perceived to be an alpha male, the person who everyone must look up to. As a result, he automatically is given a sense of authority in group situations. People always react emotionally to situations rather than logically. That is why the tricks of persuasion always works. Do you have a baritone voice? I don't. But hey, there are many other persuasion tactics you can apply for yourself. 9. Use branding Many people who have done this successfully 
are associated with the things their brand is about. If you want to persuade customers about the authenticity of your products, bring them under a brand. What comes to your mind when you think LG? What comes to your mind when you think Samsung? How about Nike? In each of these instances, you will likely have thought electronics, electronics and sports shoes respectively. This is the power of branding. It is an exceptionally persuasive tool that can be used to get people to patronize products or services. People too can be branded. 10. Speaking in a succinct manner. Even after college, some people will go to interviews with erroneous belief that speaking in an unclear and grandiose manner will get them in. They are usually wrong. In business, time is money. To maximize your time, you have to speak efficiently, straightforwardly and smartly. People who adopt this manner of speaking are usually very persuasive. Don't talk about the history of a product when trying to sell it. Tell the prospective buyers or investors the problem it solves and how efficiently it does it. 11. Use extremes to persuade. In relating with people, there are many things that they may think are important, while they will regard some other things as not so important. If the person is religious, for example, you're trying to get them to donate to a charity. You can tell them that giving is one of the most important things Christ preached. Christ did preach giving, but he said love was the most important thing. You can still argue that giving is, after all, an act of love. This is very likely to work on people who hold beliefs in the area you're using an extreme point in. 12. Appeal to authority. If you are not sure the person will believe something simply because you said it, you can cite a notable figure of authority who supports your argument to persuade the person that the opinion is valid. College students use this on their professors a lot. When they know that the professor admires an authority in the subject he or she is teaching them, he or she will then write an essay, making an argument that is supported by such people to persuade the professor of the credibility of their argument. 13. Repeat, repeat, repeat. This part cannot be emphasized enough. The more a person hears something, the more likely they are going to be persuaded about it. It is why adverts are generally not aired once. They can air them for like a month at a time. The more people see it, the more likely that they will pick those items in the stores. Powerful ads, after all, make powerful brands. Even in email marketing, the emails are not dispatched only once. They are sent in regularly and the click rate is tracked online. 14. Create a sense of urgency. People selling products and services use this a lot. They basically make the client feel like time is running out on them by giving them discounts that put them on the clock. When people are on the clock that way, they tend to hurry so as not to miss out on the benefit. This is a very subtle persuasion tactic. People who do this are usually very seasoned in the art. You can try selling something to someone for a start, and then as the conversation evolves, then you can bring it in. 15. Appeal to general acceptance. According to Reality Check, General acceptance refers to the norms of a certain society in a certain period. These are the political and social pressures that shape how we interact with each other and the things we do in our lives on a day-to-day -day basis. As long as the person believes in general societal norms, bring it up. It will persuade him or her in your favor. An example can be if your girlfriend refuses to come to see your parents. You can argue that it is acceptable cultural behavior for people who are looking at a long-term relationship. I personally don't recommend using it though. Let her come if she wants to come.